What's good, praise y'all. Back for another one. This is day four in a row. Four streams in a row. Yeah, I'd love to do this daily, so I'm gonna at least get a quick one in here. Mostly, what I've been doing this week is just exploring update 4.04. I know most of you drop in usually know this. So what's up with y'all? I'll get in the chat. We'll have a little conversation. Want to talk a little bit about uh, sample merge. In my head, I was calling it pad merge before, but sample merge and pad link together. Um, I'm gonna use those together today and explore making my own custom drum sounds. You know, just layering sounds like how would an MPC. Uh, if you could drop it in the chat, I want to know how many of y'all have an MPC and an SP. And um, because I want you, I want to see if y'all can like kind of compare these two things along with me. Um, this is a little loud. I told myself I'm gonna work on on just being silent instead of saying the ums. You know, work on that a little bit. So, how many of y'all have an MPC and an and a SP44 Mark II? I'd like to hear about it in the chat window. And uh, what what do you see yourself using sample merge for? Do you use Padlink at all? Uh, one of the reasons why I haven't, I think, fully just invested in using an SP because it isn't quite there as far as things you can do on MPC. One of them was uh, sample layers and the ability to flatten pads in the MPC because I like making my own drums, layering them at the very least, processing a little bit. And I guess the SP, I guess from the outset, like what I was looking at is what is it called? The pad link where you can link pads. I don't think there is much of a limit to that. I don't know how many you can link together, but you can link a few of them and then resample. So this kind of eliminates one second, baby. This kind of eliminates the need for you to resample, right? Because it's it's merging them and it's doing kind of like a flattened pad in the NPC in a way. So cool, right? That's cool. It's a cool thought. So is this the main use of this? And that's what the conversation is for. Like, what are some other things that y'all use layers for, like in the MPC and flattening your pads beyond drums, if you use it? Or if you're using pad link and you're just on an SP, what are some of the things you imagine that you can use this for? Okay. If you're a regular, you're probably tired of hearing about this. This is a lifted noise, stole these sound sample pack. It's a drum kit pack 70 samples and all kick snares rolls close hat open hat shaker crash 47 one shot instrument programs for the npc but also just single one shots for the sp right i made this pack just for the sp i made it for the sp in mind like i cued it so it sounds good in chromatic mode to the best of my ability right i use the npc and the sp um together to kind of you know process edit and finalize these sounds um, so yeah, you get like bass, keys, strings, flutes, synths, brass, etc. Those kind of sounds, bread and butter, acoustic instruments. That's what I like. So that's what I've created. Uh, and it's free. Unless you want to support the channel through this, pay as you want. So that's my little, little app for today. You know, this uh, episode of Lifted Noise is sponsored by Lifted Noise. And so go check it out if you haven't picked it up already. Over 200 people have picked it up. So the sounds are out there. That's cool in itself. That's cool to see. But yeah, let's get into this. I'm going to pull up the chat window and also going to pull up the the manual. Is it a manual? Oh, here's the manual. We got that ready. So I already know how to get in there. It's pretty easy. Um, I like how they set up some of these, these shortcuts too. It's like when you hold shift for this. And then what I covered yesterday was the, well, the sound generator. So you hold shift and then you'll see a button start to to blink and then that'll be your cue to press it and it'll bring you into the screen. So that's what we're doing today with this one. Uh, yeah, so what's up? What's going on in the chat? Anyone in there? Ooh, y'all made it. Yeah, it's live in the chat. It is. Delightfully tacky. What's up, man? Thanks for making it. Sim City, big world. I just saw your comment, man. You said keep up the, the daily streams. I appreciate that, man. I'm gonna try to 
that's another thing I wanted to I want to throw out there if you guys can give me some ideas. It's kind of easy to keep these um, these streams going when you got a different topic every day with the update and all that. So um, not saying I'm gonna run out of ideas, but if you guys want to throw some ideas out there, I do have one in itself which I was actually gonna do today. I've been hesitating on for a long time and kind of shifting my content and, and a content in a different direction where. Uh, I do more encouraging stuff so it's not really based upon the technical aspect of beat making but i just you know just talk uh mindset kind of stuff i like mindset stuff um just ideas and ways of thinking and then kind of mix that in with like some beat making at the same time simultaneously do that live and then also have a chat about it and see what you guys think uh so that's my thought i have one lined up i guess i hesitated again on today for some reason um still figure there's some of this uh, uptake 4.04 to explore so stick with that and i can do that maybe tomorrow or i don't know so if you guys have any ideas for like types of streams and stuff y'all might want to see i also thought about the reason why i picked up this uh see i got the ability i got my ipad plugged up so i can see stuff i've also thought about the idea of like kind of reacting to things live um not like videos necessarily but like you know gear videos because i'm a big gearhead i get gas all the time there's one out there there is a new piece that i'm really kind of interested in but i mean i know i don't need it but uh, have you guys seen that astrolab but arturia i've never really used arturia products but recently i was thinking about man i, I really want to try some of that or the arturia soft sense because they do like um what's called physical modeling if you're familiar with it so it's like it's like synthesis for imitating real physical like attributes characteristics of acoustic instruments so i'm 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 huge on like samples and like really realistic acoustic instruments so seeing that astrolab which is actually more geared towards live players um actually it would be i think i always you always find an excuse for something but i think it would be nicely paired with the sp because the way that I, I work with the SP is just running sound into this, you know, and sampling it and just layering stuff. So it looks cool. I'm tempted, but I don't know. Another thought of mine is just to poll people on the channel, see what they want to see and use that as a way to help me uh, decide what kind of gear I'm, I'm, I can get on the channel. Because I do have that opportunity. I'm linked up with Zounds and they send me gear to try out. So when there's a new piece that intrigues me, I'm going to consider it because I do have that opportunity. I'm going to affiliate with Zounds. That's another way y'all can support the channel. If you ain't bought it SP404 and you're just coming into the stream and you're like, whoa, this update's cool, man. This really puts it over the top for me. I want to get SP404 Mark II. There'll be a link in the description for that. I got like a gear wish list and that helps me out, man. Like that's, that's also encouraging. So it doesn't cost you any extra. So just if things line up for you as well on the timing and you know what I mean? So get get comfortable with self-promotion that's what it is so i'm gonna go through the chat here or should i what should i do first yeah i want to go through the chat first actually that's what i care about most really over the <laughs> over the the technical stuff over here the technical stuff might be kind of dry but hey we love this stuff anyways <clears throat> uh i have the 404 my brother has an npc i've used his a few times okay cool that's what's up in the family. That's cool. Y'all got the same interest. That's what's up. Um, flat pack. What are you saying there? Am I tripping? I use paddling to layer sounds and either resample or skip back. Hey, that's an idea. Skip back. Usually, see, people be people keep throwing out reasons to use skip back for me lately, and I've because I've never used it, and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. I use paddling to layer sounds, either resample or skip back, usually throw it under some compression. Uh, SimCity Big World, I haven't used a 404, would be interesting. Use that link in the description. Oh, Bandcamp, really, Bandcamp's over here? Is this like the legit Bandcamp channel? Or is it just your, you took on that screen name? Affecting a flattened pattern for intro, outro, etc. Affecting a flattened pattern for intro. Ah, okay, hmm interesting yeah see what this this is what this is about like i want to just come up with some some different ideas of ways of using features that i wouldn't have thought of if i didn't have this chat with you guys 
Uh, delightfully Tacky grabbed it up. Sounds great. Totally worth it. Appreciate it. Totally, totally worth that free, huh? I stole them drums. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, go snatch them up, steal them from me. That was the premise. Um, but yeah, that's coming next, right? I stole the, I stole those, I stole these drum breaks. That's what I want to do next. I think I got about four breaks already. Uh, have not tried and checked out the new plug and I haven't even watched the videos on it. Living a dream. First time in a stream. Messing with the vibes and energy. Sorry, I censored you there for a second. Really just censored myself. Uh, I'm trying to, and I, I have nothing against cussing really or anything. But I, I do try to discipline myself at times when I have the restraint too. Sometimes I let them fly, let them go. I'm trying to see if the, that tape machine works in a vid. It works. I don't have any reels though. So, yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just fake as hell over here. But no, I haven't seen them. Like, if I see some in a, if I see some in a thrift shop, I'll, I'll grab them up. Seven, some seven inch reels, but I haven't seen any. Where's my chat window at? Lifted, I like that battery idea you had for the 404. What was that again? Was that the, um, where I had that little, where did I put that? I had the little power bank that was super slim. Is that what you're referring to? Because that's what I was thinking about earlier. So I was wondering, because no one had really commented on that, I don't think. So I don't know if that's what you're referring to. Although yesterday they died and I uh, pulled these out. These are the ones that I use. I keep six in the chamber there. And then, um, all right, on deck right there. And I got six in here. So I'm always running the SP off. I haven't even used the, the dedicated power adapter at all. So running off the music. Let me get my overhead correct. That is not correct at all. There we go. That's better. That or this. Okay. All right. So Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. At the beer cracked. I wish I had something. Well, I could go grab. I got a little pineapple whiskey to help celebrate with you a little bit but yeah man happy birthday everyone wish delightfully tacky a happy birthday what kind of beer you got cracked over there you seen an astro lab what do you think it's a stage piano is the way that it's, it's being released because i seen bolo's video I, one thing i didn't know is that you can't use it it doesn't have uh it's not multi-timbral like you don't get your 16 tracks at midi like most things but that would work fine with me if I was using it with the SP. Now, if I wanted to connect it with an NPC, yeah, not, I mean, not as much. I mean, but you could still do the same kind of concept is use it just to sample in, which sometimes I prefer, man. Like when you just work with audio instead of MIDI, it forces you to, to do a couple things, like improve your actual playing ability and then also your ability to um, decide and not be indecisive about your creative ideas. It's one thing I hate. Keeps it's kind of crippling. It's like sometimes it's not a lack of ideas. Sometimes it's an excess of ideas, and you're indecisive, and you can't pick one. You know. Uh, Delightfully Techie has a key step. It's kind of complicated, but I think if you put the time in, it's worth it. I have not put that time in. The key step. I think I've had that key step. Is that like the thirty-seven or the thirty-two? The little white one. Most of their stuff is white. Um, but yeah, the still is like the key step pro. Yeah. The key step is the, the more, 
the simpler one without i think it has a basic sequencer but not something i would use i've never messed with moog equipment i really don't know anything about it but me like i like i tend to look at the acoustic sound types of instruments although like something like a really good synth man honestly i got the mini freak down here um i borrowed it on loan from uh from zounds i look i've looked at it for years like the micro freak and it, it looked awesome but I, don't, I'm, I pulled it out again out the box because i put it away because i initially just wasn't feeling the sound of it but i'm gonna give it a second shot i know there's got to be some synths out there that i really like. I actually owned like one of the roland boutique ones and i like the sound of that i was like eight plus year nine plus years ago i had that and like npc 1000 and that's what i was rocking but i don't know i just like the acoustic stuff listed i'm looking to buy an external sound card today it's is scarlet any good i think scarlet is like known for being a like a really good entry level you know inexpensive but also i'm not really the guy to ask as far as like experience with different sound cards um like what what how many inputs do you need is it just for a vocal because one thing that i really like is um as far as a interface is the ua volts by um well universal audio volt they make a cool one i was using that for a minute before i, I switched to this uh dbx uh, channel strip that i got up on my desk now which sounds good but it has a lot more features that that are kind of essential when you're doing standalone stuff because well my first song i did i realized had a ton of sibilance when i put it and i was listening to some some uh in-ear headphones like sibilance was just making it completely useless um unlistenable is what i'm saying so i was looking for something a, a, a channel strip that has compression and a ds are built into it and i found this dbx 286 s so i guess if you're like i don't know how you guys set things up like i'm i'm straight standalone so i don't necessarily need a usb interface so that's what the ua volt was for me i was still using it just as a as a mic preamp which also had a compressor on it which i really liked so i use those types of interfaces to go into my mpc or into the sp um just for like vocals mainly uh, so as far as interfaces go i don't know so if, if you're willing to go standalone if you're if you're recording standalone and stuff and it's just to go into your like mpc or any sampler i might recommend the dbx 286 and i think it's about the same price as a, as a scarlet at this point it might be like um oh, maybe i can pull it up i'm gonna pull it up okay and show you what it is that i'm using so if you guys think the sound is decent but it's not it's not a usb audio interface and it really has it has one xlr and one trs so it's like a mono let me see. VX two eight. Am I even typing here? All right. So okay. Now I think the price went up a bit on this. So the price is two ninety. Huh. I think when I got it, it was 289 but it's good it's solid it gives you a lot of features so you got uh you got your mic pre compressor deesser uh enhancer what is it yeah enhancer and expander gate and then if you need more than this and see i'm looking at this from a like a vocalist perspective i'm mainly just trying to get a good sound for my my vocal so you got one line input one insert one output yeah and one mic input so not too much connectivity there and then the other thing i was telling you about was the ua volts 
So, like, I mean, that's what I've heard about Scarlet, that it's decent, it's inexpensive, and sounds good. You know, kind of a a beginner's kind of thing. Eventually, I think people, you know, upgrade to something a little more, um, I don't know, higher end eventually. But, I mean, definitely usable, right? But I don't have any personal experience with it. I had, see, they got different ones here. I had this one. Or is it this one? Because I was only looking for a single mic. 199. This is your IO. You have uh, literally just, well, on the front. It's on the front. You have one mic in. Or it's a combo, TRS. And then this is, uh, you got MIDI on it. And monitor outs. And that's it. But, and that's 199. I don't, I'm not sure what the Scarlet costs. But then you have other, you have more, uh, I guess, basic ones that don't have the compressor on it. Like you could go with this one. I haven't tried it, but I would assume the sound is similar. The only thing, the difference is the compressor. And I think there's like a vintage kind of emulation button on all of them. See, then you got one with two inputs, and then you got this one up here. It's a little higher and a little more expensive if you need more inputs. This one is, uh, you got four inputs. And what about the back? You got line inputs one, two, three, four on the back as well. Yeah. So those are options that I could recommend. I definitely think the sound of the UA volts are nice. So yeah, that's all I could really say about the Scarlet. Uh, nah, if I, it'd be good for arrangement on the four four. What are you referring to? Yeah, the super slim power pack idea was dope. I got to look at it again. Maybe got the wrong chords or something. I thought the pack had the right, uh, like, amps or whatever it is, specs, to work with it, but it didn't power it. What I think maybe would be cool is I was wondering if uh, my volts makes, like, a, like a female, because I know they got the, you know what I mean, the input, the power output that goes into your SP, and then it turns into USB. But what if they had, if they had a female one, and like I would want one. Maybe I maybe it can email and see if they do custom ones where a lot shorter cable and make it a female because that little slim power pack that I have is USB C but it has the cord built into it, right? So I think that would be the only way to make that work. And that'd be much better because like like I said, if you're using a, a USB power bank, you take up the the audio capabilities of the SP that are very useful you got the amazon basics high capacity all right on cool ram what's up oh it was your birthday yesterday that's what's up we got two birthdays man i think that warrants me to go grab some pineapple whiskey i was just gonna stay dry today i don't even have a soda I was almost tripping. I was like, I can't start streaming without some caffeine, without some cold carbonated caffeine. Man, we even got into this whole SP stuff. So people on a replay are going to be mad. Like, where is the sample merge info? And they're going to click off 24 minutes in. I think it's the 37. Bandcamp, yes, I've used Koala for stems with an update. We did a stream on that. Pretty much, I think everyone that's in here was there for that one. I was just exploring it for the first time, and I was, like, very impressed by it. And, I, yeah, we did a stem stream, too, as well. I think stems is all right. I don't know if I'll go back to it, though. Pineapple whiskey sounds dope. I'm drinking a fiddlehead. I don't even, I never had that.
What's the 37? And PC 37? What are you talking about? 36 now? Hey, we're about the same age. I'm 37. I never had an SP44 versus NPC. Why do I need one? No, I was... Yeah, I was just saying, like, I was just talking about that, asking a question earlier. Is like, um, comparing the usages of, like, layers in the NPC and flatten pad versus um, what I'm looking at today, or I'm going to, if I get to it, uh, is pad link and the new sample merge together as as its version of that in the NPC, you know? But what's up, Leo? Thanks for dropping in. I hope the Amazon package on the counter is an Area S1. What Amazon package? Do you mean like at your house somewhere? I don't even know what the Area S1 is. Uh, da, da. Someone else must have said that. Scarlet with the revive audio with the converters are dope but expensive. It was like a higher higher um and scarlet. I think I might have seen that. Audio interface is good for MPC because that sample sampler page audio is too loud, so that depresses it. Huh. And I can confirm, like if you do get a UA volt, it works through USB power. I don't know about the Scarlets. I'm sure there's info out on that. Um not all USB interfaces work with the NPCs. Um I've tried a couple of them. And I've tried quite a few road mics, USB mics, which didn't work. But yeah, the UA Volt works with the NPC if you want to use it that way. Revive audio for vocal converter. Okay. Phrase good. Let me see. Zounds is really good. Is a really good place to buy items for sure. Pays you play. You can't beat that. Like, it's not the same as credit. I'll eventually get a single knob desktop interface, and, and I really like those UAs. Bro, I had an M Audio 4x4 that is slapped for $25 at a pawn shop. I mean, you can't beat a good deal. You find something at a pawn shop, thrift shop, you got to pick it up. Putting batteries in an electric device is a no-no because of alkaline juice. What are you... Putting batteries in an electric device? What do you mean? Hell, we done a koala stream. It was lit. Oh, key step 37. The Roland Aria S1. Okay, I've seen that, but I'm not too familiar with it. Someone was saying stems isn't coming out on standalone. Well, they stated themselves that it would come out later. So maybe it's not coming out like soon. There's no, I don't think there's any no like defined date that they said. They probably got to work that out. Just like, you know, like warp and, and standalone doesn't sound as good as in software from what I hear, just because whatever the power limitations of, of running standalone versus a computer, you know, all right well to the technical part let us see all right so i had a project where i started to put some sounds in these are some of my vinyl drums then I think this is a uh, this is from stolen drums pack so this is how i'm looking at it haven't loaded up more than two so this is how i would look at it if i was going to do this work with this and organize this. i'm looking at setting up like all my kicks here say i wanted to uh make a single drum kick out of four let's pretend i'm doing i'm not going to put four on here i don't want to over complicate this so i'm gonna use two and then i got snares so I, I'll go in and I at least get another snare and do this. Where should I go? We'll just do stolen drums, slappy drums, volume three. All right. 
Okay, we'll go with that one. Okay, and then let's see what we got for hats in here. We're just keeping it simple. Okay, let's do that right now. So, so I could trigger these. Let me turn the gate off on these. All right, so ideally, so like I was saying earlier, okay, right? So I like how they implemented these. Maybe they could do this with more stuff, more features, because it doesn't require you to re recall, like remember what the the shift combo is. I mean, to some degree, but at least you have a you have an indicator. So uh, record setting that takes you into the whole generator, and then resample takes you into the sample merge. So it looks like you can select up to four pads. So, all right, max four pads. All right. But first, what I want to do is use the pad link so that I can start like, uh, um, whoops. Well, let's just go into pad link and look at that. Where's pad link? Pad seven. So this set up just like mute groups where you have the same kind of little menu and stuff. So I want to put my kicks into Padlink group A. And then I'll put my snares into Padlink B. And then I'll put my hi-hats here. So now when I go out, I'm triggering. It doesn't really matter which one I trigger. I'm triggering both of those that are in the Padlink group. So I think this is going to be more effective using these together. Because now I can go like into pitch speed. And turn down the individual layers so I can get a nice, you know, little uh, blend of the two. And I believe I saw in a video that you can actually do this. So let me let's go back into here. I think you can do this here. See, like you have a percentage thing, or you can do it here. But I think that's kind of like blindly guessing you know, what you want it to sound like. So I don't think I'll use that. Instead, I'll just go into pitch speed. And who knows, maybe this is not going to work. I don't know, I'm exploring it. So I don't know if my settings here are going to make a difference. But then this also, if you're doing the pad link style, then um, I can write like pitch these. Right. I'll turn that all the way down. And I'm in this screen, so like I can do this for all the pads quickly. And these are some of the most basic tools that I'll use when I'm layering drums. Like when I usually do it in the MPC, I haven't done any of this really in the SP. But I'll just do that volume, um, pitch. And then, of course, I'll do like effects and stuff. Now, I don't know. I don't know if the effects will print into the sample merge. I don't think so. I wouldn't imagine so. Um, but... It's worth a shot, but first I want to just okay. So let's just say that's good. So I'm gonna just experiment real, real quick with merging them so we can look at that. So I'm gonna do the kicks hit. Push this down, hit um, enter. Then you select the pad you want it to go to. So I'm going to put it on the next pad, or I'll put it up here instead. Okay, so now I have... Oh, 
Because I have a merge, sample merge of these two pads there. And we'll do these ones. So it's easy as that. It's it's pretty quick. It's like about as quick as flatten pad. Because I mean the MPC is just flatten pad and then you can name it or whatever. But then you, you do you do kind of have to dive into the program and do that. So it's just about the same speed, I would say. Oops. There we go. So There it is. Simple as that. It's quick. So that is useful. But let me see. I don't think it's going to be possible to add effects in here. I'm going to turn on like some some flavor, some 404 and see if it does by any chance print that into the sample merge. So let's try it one more time. Oops. Put it on this pad. Turn the effects off. Okay, so this is the original one we just did, and no. So no, yes, effects are not printed. So that's something you'd probably just have to resample again. So that's a little still more limited than you know if you were using flatten pad and layers on MPC because you can add effects, it flattens them right into the effects, and then completely cleans out the old parameters of the pad and leaves you with the new sample that's how the mpc works so but of course i mean maybe there's something i'm missing maybe i misstepped and there's a way of doing it but i well i guess i could look at the let's pop up and look at the the manual and see if it has it says anything about that pull it up so i didn't really look at it so Okay, so you can combine multiple samples that are assigned to different pads into a single pad. So this is what we've done so far. Holding the shift button, press resample. Turn the knobs listed below to configure the merge processing the press value knob to execute. Okay, and then control knob one sums as the samples together. This lets you mix and combine the samples that are assigned. So I didn't really mess with the control knob, did I? Let's see, mix and combine the samples that are assigned with different pads into a single pad. You can use the sum merge processing to make more empty pads. More empty pads if there are no more pads available for assigning samples. I'm trying to see what is it? Did I? Am I just drawing a blank at what I just did? But let me delete these real quick. And then, uh, so if I go in here, it says control knob one, sum, and then multi. So what does that mean? samples and then rate okay rate why that's interesting i could change the percentage of pad nine but not this one from the knob so multi and sum What does that do? I'm confused. Y'all understanding that, right? Okay, so some. Okay, so here it is. Let me make sure you guys can see. It says, multiplies the samples. For instance, if you have an audio sample on one pad and a sample with a recorded waveform on another pad, this process modulates the sound of the first pad with the waveform of the second pad. You can liberally use this multiplicative processing to create your own sounds. Huh, is this like saying that I could, I'm a little confused, an audio sample on one pad and a sample with a recorded wave, like what is, isn't a audio sample a recorded waveform? Are we talking about like sine waves like out the, t the sound generator and like using it to says to 
modulate the sound. So this like LFOs, is that what it's talking about? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I guess the thing would be to try it. I don't know if it's going to, what it's going to do with these drums. So let me just try to do that. See what that sounds like. Yeah, it does sound much different. Versus. So it's doing something else there. It's modulating it, I guess. So which one is modulating which one? I am I am a bit confused. Maybe you guys are a little more enlightened than I am on this. Right? Versus if I do, if I do some put it here. That's the, the sound of the sum pads is the sound of the under multi. So it says it's modulating. One is modulating the other. I don't know which is modulating which. So, <laughs> uh, okay, let me just continue reading. Then I'll see what you guys got to say in the chat. Control knob three sets the volume of each pad to be used for the merge operation. If this value is too large, the merge results may sound distorted. And then value knob selects the pad for which you want to set the volume. Oh, okay, so that's why. So if I go back in here. And then select these. Wait. Okay, so I can go back and forth using this knob to. So this is the volume or percentage of volume. And then I can go up and do that. Okay. Cool. This is useful stuff, I think, for designing some sounds. Now I just got to figure out what they're talking about as far as modulating with a waveform versus an audio sample because i'm assuming that just means like a like a sign like simple lfo like that's that synthesis talk what do you guys think let me know what you think i'll pop up in the chat I mean, I think that's pretty much all I, w I can display here. It's just I've figured out that's probably what I'm going to use it for. If you guys have any other ideas, what you might use your sample merge for, which I think in the manual is saying that you have a new, another purpose or another use of it in order to modulate other sounds. The way that it's worded is, um, I'm going to read it one more time, see if I can grasp it. Multi multiplies the samples. For instance, if you have an audio sample on one pad and a sample with a recorded waveform on another pad, this processing modulates the sound of the first pad. Okay, the first pad. So that's how you know which one's being modulated. So whichever one you select first when you're in that sample merge window will be modulated by the second sound of the second pad, you can liberally use this multiplicative processing to create your own sounds. Okay, that's something I'll probably explore off camera. I don't wanna to try to get into that, but yeah, that's something. That's something, that's, that's good to know. That's good to have that little info in there. All right, into the chat. Before things get wrapped up. Actually, hold on a second. Let me go and grab that pineapple whiskey so we can celebrate two birthdays. Delightfully tacky. I don't know if you said how old you are, if you want to to say. But was it was it Crest? No, it was Ram. Ram is 36. I'm going to be 38 this year. So you guys are my little brothers. <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. I'm going to get that pineapple whiskey.
Buchanan's, I think is what it what it's called. First time I ever had it. It's not bad. I don't usually like uh, flavored alcohols and stuff because they have like that syrup in it, and it's super sweet and just disgusting to me. Like I can't do, I can't do that fireball stuff, anything like that. All right. What is that? A steak, Leo? Steak dinner. Steak birthday, steak dinner. Uh, it needs process power to enable stems. I'm a little lost to hear with some of the talk. Saya? Saya? My bad, man. I don't, I don't know how to say your, your screen name. The people I subscribe to live streaming right now on YouTube. Well, get three tabs up. Um, hey, no, 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 no. Get your butt out of here. Let me see. Um, use NPC Warp once and it sounded like a bag of sand. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I prefer not to use it. I'd rather just use like beat matching and or use the time stretch that's uh the destructive one where you can like bake it into the sample yeah i just don't find the need to time stretch really like that like i can work around tempos and stuff or or keys like if i if it's not the right tempo i'll just change pitch it up and change the key Chilling, it's almost 10 a.m. here. Dang, where are you at? It's almost, uh, well, it's 3 p.m. over here. A mimosa? Who's having a mimosa? This is just whiskey. It's, I don't know how to get the flavor in there. It's, maybe it's mainly, it's mainly like notes of whiskey, whatever that means. I don't know. Daddy? Yeah, baby. There you go. It's 22.45. Dang. What was that? 10? 10.45? What is 22? Daddy. Nice. I'm almost done here. Hey, but cheers to the birthday boys. And birthday girls who may be out there. Uh, let's see. I kind of wish Roland would just made the screen window a rectangle instead of the O. I mean, technically it is. Isn't it kind of rectangular? Like, it's got the little square in it. I don't know. I don't mind it. When I first seen this thing, it reminded me of, uh, so some of y'all are like mostly my age, it reminded me of um, Back to the Future. Like, it looked like the color of it looked like a whole, um, a DeLorean. And then, like, the little screen in the middle. Thank you, baby. Um, the little screen in the middle. Love you. The little screen in the middle like reminds me of the flux capacitor to some level. I don't know. I guess I got another thing to explore maybe tomorrow. Like I want to see what the microscope Daddy, thing is about because I'm curious, but I don't use step edit enough. And it sounds like you can look at individual notes, which is a step in the right direction. Because some of us, like myself, I think it would be cool to be able to see that. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of on a fence with that. And I sound like a hypocrite if you were in here the other day when I was, I think I was talking back and forth with Ben. And he was saying, like, the sequencer is better in Koala. And uh, and I was like, nah, I kind of like the sequencer on the SP because I can't see the notes. And, like, when I'm on the NPC, I just... Uh, I tend to like um, kind of obsess about where the notes are exactly if they aren't, you know, rather than just using my ear. But I, what I would really like is at least a playhead control in the pattern sequencer. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I, if I could see the, the notes... 
I could ignore him, but like not having a playhead, like when you're recording or you're overdumbing in the pattern and you have to wait for the whole pattern to play. <laughs> and when you gotta wait for the whole pattern play, it's kind of uh, tedious, I guess. It's just so having like playhead control would be cool. Put some more effects buttons up in the wasted space. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Like the design of that core chaos, which I, I'm not probably not gonna try out because I did the little poll, like I was saying earlier. I might just poll people, poll my channel, see what kind of stuff y'all want to see to help me decide to make a decision on what kind of gear I might ask Zounds to send my way. The design of that core chaos, like, is really cool. Like, they have a square screen. It's a touch screen. It's, I think it's, like, a five-inch screen. The thing is about the same size as the, the 404 Mark II. Uh, it looked cool, but I guess it's just not, you know, people are, it's not. Can you, can you step back? Let me finish up, okay? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay, go on. It's hard to think with her talking. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean that could be a cool design. That's why I, kind of, I guess that thing is kind of a letdown, being that it didn't have a se doesn't have a sequencer. Um, but yeah, when when I saw that, like the form and that, I was like, I was thinking, you know, NPC Live Mini that we were talking about, because you could really put a smaller touchscreen on it, and that's proof of it. Eternal read psych. What are we all talking about? Put some more effects buttons up. Vinyl. His lighting makes all that dead space around the screen look super noticeable. Really? I'm not sure what kind of dead space y'all talking about. I don't really notice any dead space. What are you referring to? You're talking about like around here? I think they crammed quite a bit on this thing. Yeah, I thought my lighting was decent. What's going on? I know my lighting used to be trash, so I feel like I'm improving, but. I got three SP devices, but it's just always bothered me. You think Roland will ever let us apply effects to a pad somehow? Like a resample to the same, same pad instead of having to resample and trim? Kind of like a flattened pad, kind of like we were talking about. Like if they made that possible in the in the merge. Now, if they made it possible in the merge, you can use it just for that as a workaround without even, I think, without even having to merge anything and just merging the sample with the effect. Oh, resample to the same pad. Yeah, that's something that I thought about too. Because you have to. Re to a different pad and then you don't necessarily want that sound on that pad so you'll take that sample and put it back delete the old one that doesn't have the effect on it i think i get what you're saying yeah it would be nice to have the choice to resample to the same pad okay Justin, what's up? Justin Beers, what's good? I need to figure out uh, your workflow, bro, if that's cool with you. For what specifically, man? I mean, yeah, I mean, I could always try to answer some questions or you can just get what you can get out of the videos. You know, I've got some more SP videos, some dedicated ones. I haven't been making videos lately just haven't feel motivated to do that whole thing and like edit them so but if you do have like i was asking because it seems like you're just popping up in the stream early in the stream i was asking people for like ideas for for, for stream so if you have an idea i guess like that then go ahead and drop it probably a better place would be to drop it in the comment section so i can easily find it when i return to the video 
but you could drop it in here i might or may not see it at first The beat's pretty gritty. Well, the finger drumming I was doing earlier. Chris says, send tool equals recorded wave. Okay. So that's what we're talking about is using the, you're talking about the sound generator. So I can use some of those waveforms to modulate some other sounds. Yeah, the effects, the effects on a sound generator, generator, I think I tried that yesterday and it didn't work, so. Yo, try to merge two tones off the sound generator using the multi setting. Okay. I'm looking at top chat, not live chat, so you're not going to see everyone's messages. Am I really? Oh. I've never even I've never even seen that or knew about that. That's weird. What does top chat mean? So I've been missing a lot of cuz I've never seen that in all the streams that I've done. I'm just ignorant. 38 today. Cheers, bro. That's what's up. I'll be 38 next month. little bro <laughs> got me there nice ram 36 um no nah, i lifted i thought you were 24 bro <laughs> really yeah i always get the uh, you look young view and i work at a college so some sometimes people say that to me which i guess is kind of cool when you get older you're in your 30s, but like when I was in my 20s, I swear a few times people thought I was like 14. So not really cool. Plus, I'm not I'm not tall at all. I'm pretty short. So. Uh, 62 this year. Congratulations. That's what's up. Yeah, cheers to y'all. Uncle Crass, he said. I'll take a sip with y'all. All right on. What you got, Ram? On an IPA? No, you like them heavy beers, huh? Or am I wrong? I really don't. I really don't get into beer anymore. When I did, I probably... I wouldn't say I drink light beer, but... I like stuff like Heineken and Corona. and I don't know. I've never been a connoisseur of any of this stuff. Now I just like drinking whiskey, straight whiskey, and mostly just cheaper, uh, like Jameson. This is fine with me. It tastes good. It's a rectangle screen in a round space. Lighting looks great. I appreciate that, man. It's been a lot of uh, trial and error with it. And I don't have I, have, I have not a singular professional light. It's all just, if I could show y'all, like, Oops, I turned the screen off for some reason. Whoops. Oh, I did that for her. Trying to be extra over here. Lighting the good, just razzing, homie. YouTube censorship. What is that comment about? Like the top chat, live chat? What is good, be jamming? We're just about wrapping it up, man. I was just talking about sample merge. Have you gotten around to trying it out? And we were discussing there's two options. And one of the options is when you go in there, turn this knob, control knob one, from sum to multi. And multi allows you, I guess, to modulate sounds using waveforms. So someone was telling me I should let me go in here and I'll put a couple of uh let's do a pulse wave. I'm gonna put it here, I guess. 
Someone said I should just get two of these t tones. And modulate one with the other. So let's let's try it. Okay, so and to merge. So the first one is gonna be modulated by the second. So I wanna modulate, I'm gonna say this one with that one. Okay, I'll just leave them at a hundred and see what it does. Press that, pick my target. There you go, that's the sound. I guess you get that sound when you Well, that's what it is. <laughs> hmm. Well, do with that what you will. Maybe you guys have some more ideas than, than I do beyond what you could do with that whole uh, multi. And it says something about doing it over and over again. Did you like that sound, Cresshead? Uh, man, I'm loving using my standalone desktop instruments right into the SP. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And that's that's kind of where my head has been gone to. Like, since I've been off of computers, it's like had a little um, epiphany moment is where like for a minute I was using uh, like uh, contact as the desktop versions of those virtual instruments running into the NPC, you know. Um, or like like even I'll do that sometimes with like FL Studio Mobile or I've been wanting to get into some of the iOS apps like um, IK Multimedia, the stuff I forget what it's called or like core module. So those are some options. But yeah, man, that that Astro, what is it, Arturio's Astro something? That standalone keyboard with all the sounds in it looks pretty cool. I'm going to put a poll up and see how many people want to see that on here. And I'm more of like a a sampler channel, so that's kind of like an, an addition to a sampler that I'll be using. Uh, so I don't know if I got much to, as far as reviewing something like that. I need to just get down and make some music. Yeah, but that's it. Um, if you guys have, I'm going I'm to kick it for a second. Let the chat kind of see if anything else pops up. If you guys have some ideas for some, sample, for some streams uh, for the next few days so I can continue the daily thing. Um, like I said, it's easy when there's a, a new topic. A new update like this i've just been covering one here and there my thought is to do what i was saying is like more encouraging not technical um like gear videos but do like encouraging like mind state stuff and like merge that together with um beat making at the same time and yeah and just have conversation uplifting you know switch your kind of perspective kind of stuff because i feel like since i've i started doing youtube i've had some like epiphanies too as far as like mind state stuff when i started looking at stuff differently you know like just the idea of success and failure and those kinds of things and like you know failure not to get specific but like just that like failure is not what's what thought that i had yesterday success and failure are not opposing they're not opposites but failure is just kind of like a kind of like a stepping stone in the process i think of success as long as you uh you don't fear that you know it's got to be like a learning process this kind of mind state stuff you know see i don't even know any of the yeah the astrolab i'd grab the astrolab but i need to use it first like you want to go test it inside of a, a music store Yeah, see, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I just have a nice opportunity to, to test stuff out, but I want to make sure that there's interest. If it, like, does it fit? Because for me, it would be a nice thing to have to sample those sounds and play parts into the SP. But it's definitely not a necessity. It also would probably take up some space where I got to move stuff around. So I don't know. I mean, there'll be there'll be other new gears coming around, so... But yeah. Let's try to figure out what this live chat and top chat. So what does top chat show you? 
So top chat has not been showing me like every single. How do you get in the top chat? How's your comment become a top chat? Like when someone said YouTube censorship, that's your was that your comment as far as like the top chat? Like YouTube decides what gets seen even in the in the live chat. Use the mini freak plugin and pigments plugin. What is the pigments plugin? What is that about? Chris said the main successful people banned, etc., have failed over and over, but they don't give up. That's the thing. That's why they succeed. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because you look at those kind of words. I think. When I think about when I, you know, kind of passively just think about those words, you would just kind of feel like your mind is programmed to think that they're opposites, you know? Like, if you don't succeed, you're a failure. If you fail, you're not successful, but it's just not true at all. And that's why I think and success is like a, it's a mind state thing because... Because there really is no destination of arrival, like, for what success is. And so as long as you're, um, I think, content in what you're doing and you're able to do it, like, you have, you can prioritize or balance that as a part of your life. Like, if you could do music, and that's your definition of it, if you have enough time to do it, and feel fulfilled in it, then that's successful, you know? It doesn't have to be, like, specifically as musicians here, it has to be, like, this ultra fame, millions of dollars kind of thing either. I don't know. So that's something I want to possibly explore. Maybe I'll just pull, pull y'all as well about stream content but i appreciate hanging out with y'all top chat is for very busy chat they prioritize super chats okay well there's no super chats in this so i don't see how so it really really wouldn't make a difference so i buy preset packs for them and that would be nice in the astro lab yeah i think that's one of the cool things about astro it also has like a I think it has like a phone app companion. I'm not sure what you can do with that exactly, but you can you can do presets back and forth. So if they sell presets that you can get on the software, like you can, I think you can export them to to work on a standalone. Pigments is a synth plugin that can make almost any type of sound: granular drones, bass, lo-fi keys, pads. Okay, interesting. Mutato nomini. Excuse me if that's incorrect. What's up? actually just wrapping it up just about I usually don't go more than an hour or so I'm trying to figure out how they rate the top chat for these smaller chats there's no like option so who decides what's seen the chat the top chat and how But yeah, once again, happy birthday to everyone out there who's had a birthday recently and today. I'm going to finish that up. Got to start getting ready for work over here. So, we'll see what I can do for tomorrow, if anything. You guys got any ideas? Is there something that I missed as far as update 4.04 that I could cover in a stream or that you guys might want to talk about? Drop that in the chat or in the comments later if you think of something. This is an instrumental from my song Dad Being, which you can find on my channel. There's a song playlist. I've done about six songs so far. I've been doing like a song a month challenge. Challenge myself to produce, write, record. 
and finalize upload song a month all on a standalone device mainly he's been the npcs but this month i'm doing one on the sp so that's actually i'm thinking it's probably going to be a stream as well because usually when i do a song one of the songs for the month i'll do a stream where i'm doing the right live recording session of the vocals on the npc so now i need to go take some time and kind of develop that process and how that's going to look on the sp because i'll probably do that as a stream record the vocals for that for that song for this month we also prioritize channel members in the chat so yeah there well there's no super chats i don't even have a channel membership option I think the microscope feature, okay, I'll really have to look at that one. Cause I, I try to look at it briefly, but just being that I don't spend much time in the step sequencer, I was a bit lost, kind of gave up on it quick. <coughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take my SP to work as I usually do, you know, maybe look at it so I can get a bit familiar. So, you know, I'm just kind of figuring this stuff out on these streams, but I don't like to just be stumbling around. It's just, no one wants to see that. Just completely just, tripping in the dark like you want to mash more noises together uh no i'm not on Bandcamp. i'm not tell me i mean are you guys all on Bandcamp? like what are some of the the benefits of Bandcamp? like distro kid doesn't shoot stuff out to Bandcamp, right that's his own little thing So I, I, what I do is like early on in my YouTube channel, actually DistroKid reached out to me to sponsor a video. I think I got like $200 for it. I did like a 30 second or a minute little, um, a little piece at the intro of the video about DistroKid. And at the time I had never used it, but it was something that I was always, that I was getting ready to. And finally I'm here to use it. So they gave me a little link and you guys, if you, I'm sure all of you have signed up for DistroKid, but if you're not, that's also something I'm an affiliate with where you get like, uh, I don't know if it's seven or 15% off if you click the link. So that's the same for like pretty much all, I think all um, affiliates, which I think are like probably every YouTube, YouTuber, music YouTuber. Uh, so that's what I do is I'll take the song and I'll put it up through DistroKid and then I'll take it and upload it on my own YouTube channel personally. And that's about all I do. Like I'm not, I need to learn some marketing and stuff. I don't even promote like the, like Spotify, like the playlist or any of that. I don't even use those. Like I mainly just use YouTube to listen to music. So um, I don't think there's any plays. I got the most plays and listens on my YouTube account, which DistroKid gives you like a, what is it called? content id option check box but i don't even check it and i think i think it's like 4.99 i don't know if it's a month or a year it's kind of pricey that's why i choose not to do it so like when i put my own songs up on youtube i don't think i'm getting royalties for it i'm only just getting like the google adsense royalties so i don't know if it really gets counted in the distro kid um streams database or whatever so so yeah that's that's what i'm on uh tap rec and tr rec is dope and was a request from okay I'm on Bandcamp with two of my albums. That's what's up. I'm on Bandcamp, free to use. You determine costs. There's a subscribe to discography, etc. Okay, interesting. What's good? I make beats. Mac Joseph, what's up? Keep making hot beats. Appreciate it, man. I'm I'm out here though, just trying to write songs though, redefining my own uh, I guess perspective of myself so I can change what I'm doing. And so now I consider myself a songwriter. That's what I say. Uh, I don't really 
because I did the ma- the beat making thing for a long time and never wrote songs, never completed anything. So just switching over to writing songs, I think has been a big change for me. It allows me to actually finish stuff. You know, uh, I was overproducing back then, not writing lyrics and uh, never finishing anything. So I think it's more suiting for me that I nurture the songwriting thing because I'm actually doing stuff. Six songs in, that's more than I've done in like however long I've been doing music for. Like when I first started, I probably recorded like two or three songs and then decades, at least a decade went by, I don't know, probably 15 years before I wrote another and recorded another one, which is today, like this time now. So, so songwriting is cool. That's you also. That's what's up. But yeah, that's it. I'm wrapping it up. I appreciate y'all always for kicking it with me be pretty lonely without you i just be talking to myself um but yeah man i encourage y'all to keep on running with your dreams do it as well you got to do it like someone's watching like you know like god's watching uh you do it because you love it so if you're streaming streaming is great man I, I i always try to encourage as many people as i can i'm like over at, at my work i got like these guys that are uh video game majors i'm like do you stream like, you should be streaming a lot of fun i love it you know <laughs> uh but some people just feel like they i don't know they feel discouraged like they they can't do it or they're not they don't got a good personality they don't know if you know funny enough or something but whatever man i'm just i'm me people come in i appreciate y'all i don't know where i'm going with that i just keep on doing what you're doing or do some even do even more you know if you've been hesitating stop the excuses keep on running with dream with your dreams y'all bless to y'all till next time hopefully it's tomorrow yeah peace i like that that's a vote of that's a vote of confidence see you tomorrow boys happy birthday bro blatantly blatant thanks for making the end i appreciate it I make beats. You, you've been streaming. Hey man, this is just a little drop in the larger scheme of the whole providence and destiny of the world. That's what I tell myself. Can't have no fear. Got to make something happen. You know, 